Hello everyone, Cat Weasel here. Welcome back to Arkham Horror, the woods so dark and deep. This is turn 12. Quick recap of turn 11. Well, um, Rex came out at the witch house from the abyss and sealed the gate. We now have four sealed gates. Jenny followed uh, Zoe into the abyss. Um, and she's currently in the first half of the abyss. Zoe's in the second half. She's going to come out this turn, but she isn't going to close the gate. And Ash Cam Pete um, was delayed, but he's now stood up and is able to move again. So what we're going to do this turn is we'll move across to the player area where Zoe Samaras is our first player. And here we are with Zoe. First thing we're going to do is we're going to refresh a healing stone and then we're going to exhaust it again like I forgot to do last time and she's going to get an extra stamina. So she's now up to five. Um, she's just coming out this turn so what we'll do is we'll use a one focus put her uh, put her speed up and then hopefully by next turn when she actually gets to move out into Arkham again she'll be back up at four. So I think that's it for Zoe. There's nothing else we have to do. No, nope, that's it. So next up is... Oh, yes, there is. Obviously, first player. So she gets a clue token as per Rex's personal story. So she's up to two. Well, three, really. She's got the return research materials. Okie dokie. Next up, Jenny Barnes. And here's Jenny. So she gets a $1 for a trust fund. And then... We just have to roll to see if the bank wants any of their interest back on the loan. They do not. So she's now up to $8. Funky. Um, there's nothing else she has to do um, as regards upkeep, I don't think. We've got a speed as high as it'll go for a... I don't think we'll bother putting that down. Um, she's only got one focus. Um, oh, what we will do though, <clears throat> she's going to have to close the gate with fight. So we'll move up a fight as uh, much as possible. She has got four law as well, but she's got the head wound, so she'd only have three dice. So this puts her up to four, which is a highest. Okay, next up is Ashcan Pete. And here we are with Ashcan. Um, although he hasn't had a particularly nice game, personally, he has done a lot of good things for us. And hopefully he's going to carry that on by carrying, carrying on going through the Great Hall of Celiano. And he will hopefully get out next turn. But the, as it stands, there's nothing we particularly want to change. He's got one focus. Um, we'll keep his sneak at four for the time being. We'll move it up. Um, once he's ready to come out of the gate. Right, so that's it for Ashcan. Let's go over to Rex. And here we are with Rex. So, what we're going to do with Rex? Well, Rex is currently at the Witch House. So, it's time to think of where to go. I think we're going to send him to the general store. I want to keep him roughly in the, the centre of the board. Uh, just in case another gate opens or there's a gate burst or something and um, what makes sure he can get to wherever wherever he might have to go so he's going to go in the general store he's got loads of money anyway so may as well see if he can get something decent and uh, as part of that that will only be one two three movement so he will be able to use the cabal of the saboth and yeah he can use the cabal of saboth uh, rather than the book of Dijan. Um we'll see if we can he, he can get a decent skill and um, he'll do that as well and then he'll try and buy something decent at the general store right so is there any oh retainer that's two dollars well actually hang on let's put let's take three put them back and give him another five dollar token so he's got twenty two got twenty one dollars Rolling in it. Okay. Uh, roll for the retainer. See if he keeps it. 
No, he finally loses his retainer. But we had a good long, uh, we had a good long benefit off it. So his retainer's gone. Unlucky Rex. Okay. Right. Let's move over to the movement phase. And here we are at the movement phase. So first up is Zoe, who's going to the Black Cave. After Zoe, we've got Jenny Barnes, who's going to the second part of the Abyss. Then we've got Ashcan Pete, who's going to the second half of the Great Hall of Saliano. And then we've got Rex, who's going to go one, two, three. Then he's going to use two of his six movement points. Uh, he's got six because of e Eric Colt, who gives him an extra two. Um, we're going to try the Kabbalah of Saboth. See if you can get a skill. So let's have a look. Movement. Exhaust and spend two movement points to make a law minus two check. If you pass, draw one skill and discard the Kabbalah of Saboth. He's tried this a couple of times, hasn't he? Without much success, from what I recall. Um, so he gets three dice because he's got five law. One, two, three. And this time he manages it. Well done, Rexy. Right, so we can discard the Kabbalah of Saboth. Goes on the bottom of the deck. And we get to draw a skill. So what have we got? Bravery. Any phase, exhaust to re-roll a horror check. Eh, not too bad. Always nice to get a re-roll. So we'll put that with his plus one will and that's the end of Rex's movement phase and the end of the movement phase altogether. Next up is the Arkham Encounter phase. First up in the Arkham Encounter phase is actually Zoe. But what have I forgot? I'll tell you what I forgot. The Explore token. Again. There you go, she's actually explored the Black Cave. She could close that now, but that'll just trap Jenny in the Abyss, so we're not going to do that. Um, she's just going to have a normal uh, River, Town Street, River Town Locations encounter, which is the purple deck. I think she's got to have an encounter. If you're not going to actually shut the gate, or try and shut the gate, I think you've got to have an encounter. So... Let's see what we get. The Black Cave. You've stumbled upon the cult of the Black Goat. You may join them if you wish. To do so, you must discard at least two toughness worth of monster trophies, lose three stamina, or an ally. So is that two toughness and three stamina? Or... or well, I, suppose, I suppose it's either of any of those three. So, what's she got? She's got three stamina. She's got the um, she's got the healing stone. So, I don't think it's two toughness. Let's have a look. What she's going to do is she's going to lose the ghoul. I know it says it's only got one toughness there, but we are against Shub. So it is actually two toughness. So I think that's all we have to do. I don't think we have to lose three stamina as well. I think they, those are all an option that you can pick. Either an ally, three stamina, or a two toughness monster. So we'll put that back in the hexagon bag. <clears throat> and she can now join. Whoop. The Cult of the Thousand. Woohoo! There we go. Put that on a play tray. She's now a member. And I don't think you have a black goat encounter as well. So, but next time, next time she goes to the black cave, the woods, or uh, the unvisited isle, she can choose to have a black goat of the woods encounter. Okay. 
So that's it for Zoe. Next up in Arkham, it's Rex. And he's at the general store and he's going to draw three common items and do a bit of shopping. So let's see what comes up. A 38 revolver. Food. Rubbish. Or another 38 revolver. Yeah. Well, let's have a look. Um, may as well buy the 38 revolver. So, we'll discard the other two. We'll put the 38 revolver on the bottom. Not that it makes much difference, but uh, I think we'd rather have that than food if Ashcan goes back that way, which I very much doubt. But a 38 revolver to go with his cavalry sabre and ancient spear. Right, okay, so that's Rex's turn. That's the end of the Arkham encounter phase. So next up is the other world encounter phase. And here we are at the other world encounter phase. This is where it can start getting funky for us. Right, so next up will be who's first? Jenny. She's in the abyss, so we need a red or a blue gate card. Yellow. Green, no good. Blue. Blue is good. But we've got Dreamlands and Yugga, so we're on other. Luck is with you. Yes. You stumble on a cache of supplies. Draw one common item. Woo! Whoop. What do we get? Come on, something good. A lantern. Plus one to luck checks. Uh, I could have done something. Could have done with something that improved the law. But that'll have to do. Right, she's got a lantern. So plus one on a luck, luck check. <clears throat> Okie dokie. Alright, so we discard that. And... Next up is Ashcan Pete, so we need a blue or a green, red, blue, Dreamlands, Yugoth, so we're on other. On the horizon you see the hazy silhouette of the Ancient One. Pass a will minus two check or lose all your sanity, which means I get pummeled into bloody lost in time and space. Arrgh! Will minus two. Will's two. His will is two. Ugh. So, um, I'm going to spend one clue token. Got one clue token, which allow me to have one roll to try and get a success. So, let's go for it. Come on, Ashcan. A one. Um, what else has he got? He's going to try one more, which will leave him with six clue tokens. Come on, Ash Cam. A four. I'm not going to spend another one. Um, I want one for emergencies. So, he's lost two of those, and he loses all his stamina. Now, normally... That would be really bad news because it means he goes straight into lost in time and space because he goes insane. Except he's not going to go insane because he's got a companion and that companion is going to make the ultimate sacrifice. Hello everyone, Cat Weasel here. Yes, I cocked up large. Um, what happened was, um, we got to the bit where we had the Will Minus 2 check, uh, which he had to pe pass uh, to lose all his sanity. Uh, he had a go with two clue tokens and uh, didn't manage it. Well, what happened after that was um, I discarded Duke to get all his sanity back but that's wrong because Ashcan would have actually gone insane first so I can't do it which in a way is good we don't want to get rid of the Duke do we so what I'm going to do is he's still got six clue tokens 
So rather than having that one spare, I'm going to have to try and spend it and get past it this way. Um, so it does get one more clue token. And I've just noticed something else that I should have used first. But we'll give him this clue token first because serve himself served me right for being too eager to get rid of Duke. So here we go. A one, so he loses that. Um, he's down to five clue tokens. There is one thing he can use though before he actually um has to go through the rest of his clue tokens which he'll have to do because um, we can't really let him go at a time and space I forgot about this which is the world ain't big enough for us which is the relationship card between him and Jenny if you or your partner is in another world location either of you may exhaust this card before making a check to gain plus one on that check so he's going to use this now so he's going to get one more dice and see if he can get the success he needs to stop him going insane. Come on, Ash can. A four. Damn it. So that didn't work. So now we're just going to have to go through the clue tokens he would normally use to seal the gate. Um. Oh, what a pain. Right. So he's got five. So he's going to spend another one. Two. Oh. We get the feeling you're going to lose them all and still go insane anyway. A one. Oh. <laughs> oh, not another one. Come on. A three. And his last one. Whoop. A five, so he spends them all, but he gets the five in the end. Well, what did I tell you about this game? Mind you, it'd help if I played the rules properly. Um, oh, right, so he finally avoids going insane, but he's got absolutely no clue tokens left now, I'm afraid. Um, so all he's going to have to do is he's going to have to go through and just... Um, probably just close the gate to be honest um, I did play through the rest of this turn and I played through the next turn as well so what I'm gonna have to do is totally replay the next turn um, I haven't uploaded it yet I haven't edited it yet it was just um, I just uploaded this this one to YouTube and I was just checking through it and then I just thought hang on he would have gone insane before he could have got rid of Duke uh, I went and checked it on the uh, frequently asked questions and stuff and sure enough um, I should have done it the way I've just done it there so where we're up to is Ashcan Pete has got absolutely no clue tokens left but he hasn't lost Duke and he's still um, and he's still ready to come out of the Great Hall of Celiano next turn but unfortunately he won't be able to seal the gate he'll only be able to close it Right, so that's it for the other world um, encounter phase. I'm now going to have to redo the mythos phase and um, and carry on from there. Uh, that's the reason for the change in lighting and stuff. This is about an hour and a half after I originally did it. So, right, let's crack on with the all new end of the game. Hello everyone, Fred Carno here. Yep, um, here's the mythos phase that I'm going to have to redo. Um, yep, the old laugh and chuckle phase, except this time it was the other world phase that was a laugh and chuckle phase. Um, yeah, what's happened is I've had to redo that because obviously Ashcan Pete was getting rid of Duke to save his sanity, but he couldn't do it. So he had to spend all his clue tokens and he had to exhaust... Um, the relationship card uh, finally managed to get the success he needed but now he hasn't got a clue token to his name uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to redo the mythos phase uh, 
previous Mythos phase that I did, um, we got a surge at the Black Cave. Um, so we got a few um, we got a few monsters and stuff, but I've put them all back into the into the bags, um, and I'll pick another one. The the reason I'm picking another one is because like um, if I pick the same one, um, then I'd know what to do next turn. Because I redid, I, I did the next turn as well, and we ended up winning. <laughs> so it just seems like playing the same Mythos card again doesn't seem right. So uh, I think I've put everything. Oh, I'll tell you one thing I haven't done. Um, as part of that Mythos card, we got a clue at Hibbs Roadhouse. Well, we don't have the clue at Hibbs Roadhouse now because we're going to pick a new Mythos card, and hopefully um, it won't be a gate or a, or a gate burst. Right, okay. Oh, it's a witch house. In fact, it's even better. We don't get any monsters this turn. So that was lucky. Uh, and now I'm thinking, should I put the old one back? Um, is, it, is it fair? Should I pay? I think I should play Sunny and Clear, shouldn't I? Because this is miles better off. And in fact, these things like taking... Oh, well, there is no monsters in the Rivertown streets. But we get a clue at the Black Cave and stuff. Um, yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the original one back in. Uh, the reason for that is is uh, that's ridiculously much better. Um, so I will put the the sunny and clear one, which was the one I got last time. So we'll swap that with an evil fog. Um, and discard that and put this one. Uh, yeah, it doesn't seem <laughs> it doesn't seem fair getting one that's even better. So sunny and clear is gonna be a card. Um, so I'll put that clue back at Hibbs Road House. And what else was there? Yeah, I had to do the surge, which was four monsters. Uh, so I'll re-pick those. The first one is a Spectral Hunter. Doesn't move. It's ambush, can't evade it. It's got three bloody toughness. That's going to be nice for Zoe to sort out. And I'll draw another one that comes out of the outskirts, which is a werewolf. Both of these are worse than last time. I got a Maniac and I think it was a Hunting Horror last time. And we get two. Got a Dart Young and a Ghoul. So they're in the outskirts. Right. Ugh. Okay. Um, let's have a look. We've put the clue back. Monster movement is pluses and crescents. Well, there's no corruption cards with that, so that's fine. Um, and we've got... What was that? That's a square, so that's, it's not going to move anyway. We've got a crescent, which doesn't move. As I say, there's no corruption cards. Headlight, oh it's environment weather, sneak checks in Arkham are made at a minus one penalty, will checks are a plus one bonus. If the Haunter of the Dark is in play, return it to the cup, Haunter of Darkness enters play, return it to the cup, draw a different monster. Okay, so that's that. I think that's a bit fairer than using that um, gate at the Witch House, because we wouldn't have got a Doom Token or anything, which reminds me, put the Doom Token back on. So... We're down, we're up to 10. Um, right, that's up to 10. Um, we've been lucky again with both those cards in that we didn't actually get a gate opening because I think we can still win despite my clown college like messing around. Um, both Jenny and Ashcan Pete can come out of their respective other worlds. Jenny can seal her gate. Um, hopefully Ashcan can close his. And 
then we'll have no open gates on the board and we will have more than four gate trophies so um we're still we're still in the box seat um right um well apologies for that uh, apologies to those of you who were actually watching the episode when i took it down but um i was um i was going through it i think log was watching it um but i did notice um uh, while i was reviewing it and uh, i quickly went and checked the frequently asked questions and realized that i couldn't do what i'd done so i I um, thought, oh, I better take it down before anybody watches it. But fortunately, Log, he was on, he was on fire. But um, I think, fortunately, I was about ten minutes ahead of him. So um, I'd have hated him to get there and go, "What's he doing?" Um, so uh, that's why I did take it down um, in order to try and fix it. Um, okay. Um, what I think I'll do now is I'll uh, go straight into the next turn and try and finish this off tonight, I think. Right, um, thanks very much for watching. Thanks very much for the um, subscriptions and all the views and um, the comments. And uh, I hope you'll join me ne next time. Um, and hopefully in the next um, episode I'll get the same result I got. And um, I won't make so many clown college errors. Um, Okie doke, this is Cat Weasel signing off. Toodaloo!